Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins. So what is multi-branch pipeline? Let's say that you know, you're working with a team and your team is doing multiple um, you know, releases. They have multiple branches, right? Let's say uh, this is your repository, right? This is your code repository. And then as you can see here, you have multiple branches, right? So one of the team is working on bug fixing branch, another team, May work on a feature branch other team may work on a release branch uh, or develop branch and whatnot right so how are you going to automate each and every branch right can you go and create um, a jenkins pipeline for each and every branch right imagine that you know you have a repository but you have 20 or 25 branches how are you going to manage automating each and every branch code right so this is where multi-branch pipeline comes to help right so basically, our developer uh, create a new code or new branch when they commit uh, the new branch into uh, you know your source code management. Um, Multi-branch pipeline can automatically uh, generate a pipeline for you, right? As soon as they uh, you know uh, commit the code, it can actually uh, discover the new branch and then it can automatically create a pipeline for you, right? So that is the beauty of uh, multi-branch pipeline. And then another important thing is also right. Let's say that you have a master branch you want to have entire CACD pipeline implemented for master branch but you know you want to implement only CI pipeline for develop branch how can you actually do that definitely use multi-branch pipeline for that okay awesome so let's get started so guys this is my website coachdevops.com I will be posting the link right below the video as well okay so if you look at my setup this is my Jenkins okay which is actually running in AWS cloud okay and this is the repository you know we are going to uh, use right and as you can see here i do have uh, you know quite a few branches okay and then if you see here uh, each and every branch has a jenkins file this is very very important okay so whichever the branch you want to uh, automatically create uh, jenkins pipeline you have to have jenkins file created so jenkins file is nothing but it's a declarative pipeline right so if you wanted to know or if you wanted to learn how to uh, create Jenkins file or how to create a declarative pipeline. So feel free to refer this link. So how will you create a Jenkins file? If you wanted to know how to create it, please click on this link, right? I have clearly mentioned that, you know, how to create a Jenkins file um, in GitHub and you can commit the code and whatnot, right? So this is what Jenkins file is, okay? But if you look at my um, repo here, yes, I do have Jenkins file already created for each and every branch, right? You see here, so that is the main branch. And then if you look at develop branch, I also have Jenkins file added in that branch, right? So, so like I was saying, right, if you want to implement, let's say only CI, you can have necessary changes, uh, you know, in this branch, right? Let's say if you want to have full blown CD, then, you know, you can go to that branch and then, you know, you can have all your code changes in, in the Jenkins file, right? Awesome. So let's get started. All right. So let's go to Jenkins and click on new item. So we have to give name. So I'm going to say my multi-branch pipeline job. Okay, and then you have to select this option. See here, it says that multi-branch pipeline. So click on that one, click on OK. Okay, so this is our multi-branch pipeline, right? So it has been created. Now we have to configure it. So click on branch sources and then click on add source, click on Git. We have to provide our Git repo URL, right? So this is my uh, Git repo URL go there and then put that over here and then i have already added my credentials okay so that is my credential okay okay i think that's pretty much over there and then this is an important thing right so this is nothing but a jenkins file so as you can see here where is our jenkins file right so our jenkins file is right here so 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 that is actually fine so that's pretty much over there right okay so click on apply save so now if I click on scan branch pipeline now, right? Scan multi-branch pipeline now. If I click on here, so now what it is going to do is it is going to scan through the source code, 
and then it will start uh, see as you can see here we had uh, four branches right as you can see here it started you know um, creating a pipeline and then started you know running those pipeline right wow see here so since we had four different branches each uh, branch has Jenkins file it automatically scanned through the source code and then started you know creating the pipeline job for you right amazing isn't it okay and then of course you can click on you know whichever the job is running right for example this has already completed or this is completed too so let's click on here and then wow see here so this are the different stages right for that uh, pipeline wow see here so everything is completed right so that's how guys you know that's how you can create multi-branch pipeline